Just a mountain of nuts right behind me. That deserves a big thumbs up. All this crazy fish, and then they got the freaking fresh sharks too. Of course. Of course, they got all this stuff. Look how good this fish looks. I, I, and I, I want to look up the history of Malaysia. I'm going to do that today because things are so developed here. There's such efficiency here, and the, the price is just on the bottom undergrowth. So ladies and gentlemen, we are in the streets of Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Right now, one of my favorite cities in Asia. And I want to make a quick video on the prices and things of the supermarket here. Because the, the, the cost for the quality here in Kuala Lumpur is ridiculous. It is so good. You get so much bang for your buck here. And I just want to showcase. I just want to kind of go through the supermarket and show what you can get. Okay, so we got a box of tomatoes. One dollar US. A little more. It's about two dollars for this green lettuce, right? Crazy. We got these. What the heck is this? Oh, tofu. This is like, uh, oh man, this is like 15 cents, 10 cents. Whole head of this Chinese cabbage. Just under a dollar. Okay, we are moving on now. We are in the onion shallot section. Look at all these little mini shallots, bigger shallots, onion, garlic. Look at that. They got these whole sections and they got the whole chili section here too. Chili's over here. Chili's galore. My god. I'm telling you, they, even the even like the best grocery stores in the US. Now I know they have similar things to this, but I guarantee you, you're not gonna get this much quantity, this much quality, and definitely not at the same price. Nowhere even close to it. Okay, we are moving on now to the junk food section. We got the amazing produce section out of the way. Now we gotta look for the junk food. It's right here. Let's see what we can come up with here. Luxury, I don't know, chocolate filled. Basically a dollar, a dollar for this whole pack of this. This is a little over a dollar. Oh my God, I'm telling you, it's ridiculous here. 390 for this, this whole pack. That's like um, 90 cents, something like that. Let's look at the American classics though and see what we can find, up with, find out with here. Oreos, a pack, how many cookies? These are made, these are from Thailand. Maybe about 10 cookies, 3.45, 80 cents. That might be on par. That might be about the same. Still though, and then when you buy the local ones, like, I don't know if these are local, but these are 3.30, like 50. Whenever you buy the local junk food in these countries, all in Asia, they're obviously really discounted. Okay, okay here's a familiar one. Kettle, potato chips. But still, $3. I, I would bet you this is the same price Maybe even depending what area, city, store you go to, it's about the same back home in the U.S. I bet. I, I, and I, I want to look up the history of Malaysia. I'm going to do that today because things are so developed here. There's such efficiency here and the, the price is just on the bottom underground. And I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's just some kind of tax thing. It's just some kind of, I don't know what, the economy is just, just different here than all the, the other parts. For the quality that you get here, I swear it's unmatched. It's similar in like Thailand and stuff, but I think it's even more so in Malaysia. Dove soap, big bottle of shampoo, about $3 just over. It's about what it is back home. Head and shoulders, $4.50 for that. And of course the Listerine, it's $10, 50 ringgit for a two pack, so about $5 a bottle. It's a big bottle too, so it's about right I think as well. Okay, here we go. Arguably the most well-known Coca-Cola. 24 pack cans, 12 ounce cans, 27, which is 550. 550 US. That's that's pretty good, actually. That's cheaper than back home. And I do know that they manufacture, they produce, they those big companies like that, they set up manufacturing plants and they're producing it here. They're not like making it in America and then shipping it over here. Maybe some of them, but a lot of them, they're actually making them here. Here we go, rice, 10 kilogram, which is about 22 pounds, eight bucks. Eight bucks for 22 pounds, that's pretty good. I think that's cheaper than back home. Okay, here we are in the beloved dairy ice cream section. 
So about two dollars for these Nestle ice creams. We gotta see. We gotta see the price of the actual dairy, though. Okay, here we go. So low fat Dutch lady, nine ninety. It's about two dollars. This is small, though. This is like I don't know, maybe half a gallon for the U.S. So. They got all these yogurt drinks too. These things are delicious. Like Yogurt, it's got the pro probiotics in there. It's a dollar for this whole pack. It's about the same. It's maybe a little more in America, but it's, it's pretty cheap there too. Some yogurt. Three dollars for the Greek, which is that big brand. Dairy is about the same as well. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna get. I'm a huge lover of the nuts. I got a bag of cashews, dollar seventy for this. This is a good amount too. You can see in my hand. And then these two soy milks, 75 cents each. Yeah, the checkout too, where they're on the opposite side. They go on this side and they come around the same side. It's usually you're on the other side. All the other countries too I've seen are usually like that too. I'm kind of surprised. Okay, so there was the supermarket here in Malaysia. I'm telling you this, it was it's amazing. I would love to live here. Like just shopping there, you get such a good deal. And to top it all off, I bought these goji berries. Here they call them wolf berries, but they're actually, they're actually called uh, goji berries back home. And this is 250 grams, which is about 10 ounces, 11 ounces. This sucker, or is about, yeah, about 10 ounces. Cost 375 for this, for this big bag of this. So, anyways, as always, I hope you enjoyed this video. More to come from Malaysia. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.